Federal Communications Commission, also known as the FCC. They recently just accepted all their video relay service, also known as VRS, all their video relay service rates uh, for one year starting July 2010 till June 2011. Where did they get all that information from? All that information came from the Neutral Exchange Carrier Association, also known as NECA. The FCC has got their information from NECA, reviewed the rates, they've got the rates and they're looking around reviewing it, just asking questions, getting, trying to get some more information, some feedback, comments from people. Getting that information is from NECA and NECA has taken that with their VRS rates and given it to FCC. Thus far, NAD has learned a lot of new comments. There's been a lot of comments and a lot of controversy about this just over the rates, you know, from NECA proposing the rates to FCC, and everyone's got this misconception that, they, that VRS is going to be shut down. No, that's not what this whole point is about. The FCC has already talked about it many times, many, many times from the past, from the start till now, that they totally support VRS. They recognized how how very important it is to have VRS for the functional equivalency that VRS provides people who sign who sign with ASL. So we strongly encourage consumers to first come ask, get their information from NAD, check out, hey, hey what's going on, get some more information on the issues, and know how to protect their rights. We here at NAD, we also work with other consumers in different groups. And we will, you know, we're going to apply our comments and our feedback. I think it's due May 14th. And this will be the first feedback session if we'll with a bunch of comments, etc. NAD will go ahead and try to urge the FCC to speculate and to think about these things, take into consideration, you know, our quality of relay services think, you know, it's successful for functions, equivalency with sign language, telecommunications and other, probably say like, our goals, just say, transparency, you know, you can see if there's an honesty, you, know, you can just see back and forth, in mobility, just being able to call different, we can just use our services and just call different, you know, with different phones, the innovation and just think of the, also the competition for marketing, selling, you know, the industry, when thinking, when we set it up to decide our rates, NAD will let everybody know at that time and in the community here in the, sh in the near future. NAD's position is, we'll let everything know, it's like this week or the coming weekend, we will let everyone know. And also we'll provide you with a sample, sample comment, and you can file that with the FCC. All the second and final round of the comments, all that will be applied with the FCC. And that'll be due on May 21st. Now we still have time to send all your send all your comments and questions in there. So don't no one get a frenzy and hurry up. You know, it's, you've got time. We really just want to share more background information on the VRS rates. So you know, it'll give you the aha and give you a better understanding of how we what we're trying to propose. If you want to know more about the VRS rates, I've got a second. We have a second blog you can look at.